Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. It is BoxyCharm box time, you guys, and I finally received my base box. I was so disappointed this month because it seems like each month it takes more time for me to receive my BoxyCharm box. So I know that we are past the middle of the month. By the time that you guys see this video, it will be past the middle of the month. But there were such good products in this box, I had to go ahead and record this video to share with you guys all of the items that came in this month's box. The theme for this month's box is Breaking the Ice, and I got Variation 21. As I always explain to you guys, this little number here that's by the heart is your variation number, and that variation determines or dictates the products that you would get in your BoxyCharm box for the month. So as usual, I'm going to go through all of the items that I got in this month's box, and I'm also going to do a demo towards the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get into this box. So the first item that we're going to talk about is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. I was super excited to see that I got a complexion product in this month's BoxyCharm box because there had been surveys that BoxyCharm had sent out. They also sent out some samples to us in some previous boxes. And you know, they were trying to get a feel, I think for our particular skin tone, our complexion. So that way they could send us out products that we could actually use. There is nothing more frustrating than to receive some type of complexion product. It doesn't matter if that complexion product comes in your BoxyCharm box or otherwise. It's frustrating to receive a complexion product that does not match or that you cannot use for your particular skin tone. But I think that BoxyCharm has figured it out. And again, this is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. And it looks like the shade or the name of this concealer is the Middle Ground. The info card states this undercover concealer is a lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural flawless finish. This concealer is infused with vitamin E and galactoarabenin to keep the skin moisturized and to rejuvenate and improve the skin's appearance. The angled doe foot applicator is easy to use and precisely applies the velvety soft formula to visibly brighten the complexion and cover dark circles. This blendable long wearing concealer is great for all skin types. And I really like this concealer. I have been wearing this concealer now for a few hours and it looks pretty good. And I think that BoxyCharm did an awesome job at matching my skin tone. So I'm super glad to have this product in my box. And this is not the first time that we've gotten a product from Pretty Vulgar in our BoxyCharm boxes. And to be quite honest with you, I'm really starting to be quite fond and really like the Pretty Vulgar products. They work really, really well. You guys have heard me talk about another product that came in a previous month's BoxyCharm box, and that is their translucent setting powder. I really like that powder a lot. And the retail cost, for the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer is $25. The next item that we're gonna talk about is from Ace Beauty, and this is an eyeshadow palette, and this is the Scarlet Dusk Palette from Ace Beauty, and this is a beautiful palette. And the info card states that this eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are reminiscent of the beautiful sunrises and sunsets witnessed in various locations around the world. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. And I have to say that I really agree with that. I really like the shadows in this palette. I think that this look turned out beautiful and this is definitely reminiscent of a sunrise or sunset so this palette is gorgeous and the pigmentation is there there was very little fallout in this palette so it's really really a high quality palette super glad to have this in my collection or to add this to my collection and the retail cost for the ace beauty scarlet dusk eyeshadow palette is $34.99 this next item is from Skin & Co. And 
Again, this is not the first time that we've had a product from Skin & Co in our BoxyCharm box. And this is the Truffle Therapy Face Gamage. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is a delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture and soothing fragrance. Truffle Therapy Face Gamage is a lush formula combining the best of iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury Italian spa experience. A beauty cabinet staple, the Truffle Therapy Face Gamage features sweet almond oil, gentle apricot seed powder, and our unique and exclusive Black Winter Truffle Extract, which has a high concentration of superoxide demutas, a powerful free radical scavenger that reduces the signs of aging. Gently buff away and erase dull, lackluster skin, revealing a more luminous and healthy complexion. Skin & Co. is a brand that I am liking quite a bit. Again, this is not the first time that we've gotten a product from Skin & Co. in our BoxyCharm box. And the retail cost for the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Gamage is $28. The next item is from Glow Recipe, and this is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And the info card states, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is a bouncy, breathable sleeping mask that smooths and perfects the skin overnight. You guys know I love a product that works overnight. This pillow-proof formula acts as a radiance-boosting face mask, formulated with soothing amino acids, rich watermelon extract, hydrating hyaluronic acid, and pore refining AHAs that work while you sleep and gently exfoliate and clarify. So this is a product that I have been thinking about quite a bit and I'm glad that I got it in my BoxyCharm box because I want to try this out. Now one of the interesting things about this is that it does state here that this has that AHA property in it. So if you are using any other product that has an AHA property in it, I would say to really consider the percentage of AHA that's in both of those products to make sure that you're not overdoing it. For example, I like using uh, the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Honeymoon Glow does have that AHA property in it, so I would have to be certain on the nights when I'm using my Honeymoon Glow that I don't use this product because I don't want to overdo it. But yeah, this is a really good product from what I've heard or what I have read in the reviews. And the retail cost for this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is $22. This next item is from Queen Studio and it is a matte liquid lip satin. And this product I am wearing on my lips right now. And I'm not particularly fond of this product. This is the first time really I think that I've gotten something in my BoxyCharm box that I can say that I'm really not fond of. I can honestly say that. And this is a beautiful color. It's a nice nude color of liquid lipstick. However, I'm not fond of the formula at all. The packaging reminds me of the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Looks very similar to it. When I swatch this it looks really pretty the color of this liquid lipstick is really pretty but there was just something about the formula of this that I just did not like it was very sticky and it also left my lips feeling very dry so you guys will be able to see this a little bit more uh, in the demo portion of this video but the info card states if you're a full coverage enthusiast this matte liquid lip satin is your superhero our extremely pigmented formula gives you a true matte finish in one coat with 12 hour performance. So again, I'm just not sure about this one. Um, in a way, I kind of hate that I opened it and used it uh, because this would definitely definitely be something that I would put into a giveaway because someone else may really, really like this. This was just not one of my favorites, you guys. But again, it did come in my BoxyCharm box and the shade of this lipstick is really pretty. It's just the formula was not one of my favorites. But the retail cost of the Queen Studio Matte Liquid Lip Satin is $17. So just in case you guys don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription box and I have not yet upgraded to the BoxyCharm premium box. I'm still receiving the base box. And I've been going back and forth trying to make up my mind, 
you know, whether or not I want to go ahead and upgrade to the BoxyCharm Premium or just to stick with my base box. And I think I'm going to stick with my base box for now. But for the five items that did come in this month's base box per my variation, which is variation 21, the total cost of all of those products is $126.99. So you guys know that if you get the base box, you pay substantially less than $126.99 for the monthly box. So it is definitely a good deal. So now that I've gotten all of this out of the way, you guys know all, all the items that came in my box. You know the cost of those items. Let's get into the demo portion of this video. My face has been moisturized and primed and I've also primed my lids. And I'm going to go into the Scarlet Dusk palette here from Ace Beauty. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. And this shade is called Aruba. And I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. And for this look today, I'm going to primarily work with the shades that are in this top row of this Scarlet Dusk palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Sunset Rose, and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. And now I'm going to use this shade right here, and this shade is called Shade. So I'm going to use this in my crease area. And now I'm gonna use this shade right here, and this shade is called Nocturnal. And I'm gonna use this in the outer V and gently sweep this into the crease area as well. So I've done my little half cut crease situation. You guys know how I like to do this. And I'm gonna go back into this shade right here. This shade is called Nocturnal, and I'm gonna use this to soften up the edges. And now I'm going to go back into this shade right here. This is called Sunset Rose. And this is the shade that I used as my transition shade when I first started with this eye look. But I'm going to stick with this row. That was my original plan. I'm going to stick with that plan. And I'm going to apply this to the area starting from the inner corner of the eye out to where I have the nocturnal here. And yeah, I'm going to put this on the lid. So this will be an all matte eye look. And I'm going to use this shade right here. This shade is called Crimson. And I'm going to use this just to marry these two shades that I already have on my lid together. Very pretty. And I'm going to go back into this shade right here. This shade is called Nocturnal. And I am going to use my small blending brush. And I'm going to add a little bit more definition into my crease area. I'm gonna add my liner and my lashes. My liner and my lashes have been done. And since my BoxyCharm box did come with this Pretty Vulgar concealer, I decided to go ahead and use as many of the Pretty Vulgar products that I have in my collection. So I lined my eyes with the Pretty Vulgar ink black eyeliner so this is a gel type of eyeliner i guess it would remind you a little bit of the inglot number 77 eyeliner in black i use this pretty vulgar the ink eyeliner to line my eyes so i'm going to use this concealer from pretty vulgar and i'm also going to set my under eye area using this translucent setting powder from pretty vulgar so pretty vulgar seems to have a pretty extensive line of products so i like pretty vulgar so let's get this concealer on i've been really curious to see how boxycharm was going to work out the complexion products i did take a survey and i 
I checked off the boxes for my particular skin tone and they sent me this concealer. So when I first saw this, just looking at it um, in the container here, I was like, this is not gonna be right for my skin tone. It's not gonna work for my skin tone at all. But this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush to get this concealer in place. It looks like it might, it may dry down pretty quickly, so I better get moving here. Yeah, this is drying down very, very quickly. So, gotta move kind of fast. The coverage doesn't seem to be too bad. I'm gonna add just a little bit more right in here. And I'll set with this Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to use this Shimmering Swan Highlighter from Pretty Vulgar. This came in one of my previous month's BoxyCharm boxes. This is gonna be my first time using this. And now it's time to smoke out my waterline and I'm gonna go back into the Scarlet Dust palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. This shade is called Nocturnal. I'm gonna use this towards the outer portion of my eye and bring that in to about halfway. And then I'm gonna use this color right here. This is called Shade. And then for my inner corner highlight, I am going to go back into this shade right here. This shade is called Aruba, and this is the shade that I used as my Ravlon highlight. So I'm gonna go back into this shade and use it as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to use this Liquid Lip product. This is from Queen, and it's in the color Thick Skin. looking pretty nude on me and I'm not sure of this formula let me try this again and this is feeling a bit kind of dry on my lips Houston we have a problem let me see if I can fix this some type of way. I think I'm gonna have to add some gloss or something to it. I have added some of my Fenty Gloss Balm to this lip product from Queen in the color Thick Skin. I'm hoping that this helped it to look a little bit better. Not quite sure how I feel about the formula of this liquid lip product. The color is okay, but yeah. But either way, this look is done. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.